Oh, hello there. How are you? And welcome to the video. Do you love to read? And do you love to leave your opinion, right? Do you love to leave your reviews on things? If so, then this is the video for you because I'm actually going to share with you 11 websites where you can make a little extra money as a side hustle by reading books and then leaving your review. Now, you're going to want to stick to the end because the last three sites that I'm going to talk about, they actually pay $100 per book review. Plus, I'm going to share with you at the end how you can actually make this more than just a side hustle where you can actually freelance and get paid up to $100 per hour to read books and leave reviews. How cool is that? So make sure you stick around. Let's get into it. All right. Number 11 on our list is U.S. Review of Books. Now, U.S. Review of Books, they are a nationwide organization and they review books of all kinds and then they publish those reviews in a monthly newsletter. Now, the way it works for a book reviewer is pretty simple. When a new book title is posted, you can then submit to be a reviewer of that book. And a typical review for US Review of Books is anywhere between 250 and 300 words. And for the 250 to 300 words, they pay $25. But for longer reviews of say 500 to 600, they pay up to $70. $5. Now, this is a freelance position like all of these that we're going to be talking about, but for US reviews of books, they do require a resume, a sample of your work, and two professional references via email. But they are a very credited source. Take some time, put together a resume, make sure you have a sample of reviews that you've done. Uh, you're not necessarily going to need to have a sample of reviews for all of these sites, but keep that in mind for when you do apply for U.S. Review of Books. Number 10 is Writerful Books, and they pay anywhere from $10 to $50 per review. Now, what's cool about Writerful Books is they also have what's called beta reading. Now, beta reading is where, let's say me as the author, I just finished writing my novel, but I'm not quite ready to launch it to the public. I would submit it to Writerful Books and then they would give it to you, the reviewer, to read the book. And essentially what you'd be doing is uh, giving me feedback. You know, this is what you like. This is what you didn't like. The plot was OK, but I didn't like this character. And then I would go back, take that information and, you know, rewrite and tweak the book. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I wanted to put this particular one in here. So Writerful Books, anywhere from 10 to $50. Number nine on our list is Get Abstract. If you're somebody who loves nonfiction books, then head over to Get Abstract. What's cool about Get Abstract is they actually take nonfiction books and then they condense them and summarize them down into 10 minute clips or bites. So if you love nonfiction, you want to write reviews, help summarize these books, head on over to Get Abstract. Number eight is Booklist Publications. Now they pay anywhere from 12 to $15 per review. And Booklist is the American Library Association's highly respected review journal for librarians. Now it helps if you're actually familiar with Booklist Publications, which includes the Booklist magazines, the quarterly book links, and Booklist Reader blog. So if you're familiar with any of those, then definitely head on over to Booklist and check them out. Number seven is Kirkus Media. Now they pay anywhere from 50 to $75 for a review. If Kirkus sounds familiar to you, well, it should because you've probably seen them on Amazon before. Not only have you seen them in the book review section, but you've probably actually seen them on covers of your favorite book titles. As of right now, they're actually searching for people to review not only in English, but also in Spanish. And they're looking for people to write reviews of around 350 
words. Number six is Book Browse, and they pay $50 for 600 words. And Book Browse not only does uh, adult fiction and nonfiction, but they also have some books for young adults, which is pretty cool. Number five is Online Book Club. Now they pay anywhere from five to $60 an hour. They give you a free copy of the book, and you also get paid for your review of that book, which I thought was really, really cool. And it's pretty simple to sign up. You can just head on over to Online Book Club club and they have uh, a section here where you can go ahead and sign up. Number four is Booklist Online. A Booklist is a book review magazine and what they do is they help librarians and readers select the best book and they do reviews on fiction, nonfiction, young adult titles, but they also do audiobooks and DVDs and they actually publish around 8,000 book reviews every single year. Now they're looking for standard reviews of up to 175 words, and they pay anywhere from $15 for each review. And they also pay $5 for a rejected review. Number three is InstaRead, and InstaRead pays $100 per review. Now, keep in mind that these reviews are going to be a little bit longer in length. So they pay $100 for anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 words. Okay, so keep that in mind. It is going to take you a little bit longer to write these reviews, but they also do compensate you and pay you more. Number two is Women's Review of Books, and they pay $100. Now, Women's Review of Books has been around for a long time. They're a, a very highly respected publication. They're actually part of Wellesley's Center for Women, and this is a, a feminist magazine, and they've actually been published for 36 years. I thought that was really, really cool. So they do pay $100 per review. If this sounds like something you're interested in, definitely, definitely check them out. Women's Review of Books. Lastly is Upwork. Now, if you've never heard of Upwork, Upwork is a freelance website. And I thought this was very, very interesting is that there are tons of people offering book review services. And a lot of people are actually charging $100 an hour, which I thought was, was really, really interesting. So my recommendation is if you really want to take this and, and go all in with it, head on over to Upwork and create a profile, it's free, and start offering your services as a book reviewer. Now, in the beginning, are you gonna get 100 bucks an hour? Probably not, but you start small, 10 to $20, and then as you start to uh, kind of build your profile, start to get feedback and ratings, then you could start to charge more. So a great little side hustle where you could make some really, really good money. And even if you carved out like a little niche for yourself, while well, I only read fiction or only read nonfiction, I think you could really, really stand out and, and make some really good money. Now, if you're interested in more side hustles, I've got tons and tons for you. Make sure you head to my side hustle playlist. I'll pop it up here somewhere. Go check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.